Today's scripture reading is one verse, 1 John 3.23. It has been a key verse in my life. Let us have a prayer for understanding. Loving God, we thank you for your word. And as we hear your word and consider its truth, we pray that you will guide us into your truth and your way by the Holy Spirit. Through Christ we pray, amen. 1 John 3.23 And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Before the days of GPS and Google Map, the best way for me to get somewhere was to use a map and compass. I have traveled across the country using a map and compass. I've used a map and compass to hike in the mountains. I've even used a map and compass to sail on the ocean in the fog and in the dark of night. A map and compass gave me the tools and the directions I needed to get to the destination. The message of 1 John 3.23 has been the map and compass that has guided my life of Christian faith. As a child, I was blessed by the people who gave me this spiritual map and compass. I don't remember them ever quoting the words of 1 John 3.23 to me, but they did give me this basic message. Believe in Jesus and love one another. I did not understand the importance of this message when I first heard it, but God used this message to draw me closer to God as the years went by. Some of you know a key person who taught me this message when I was 12 years old and attended First Presbyterian Church in San Diego. That person is Dick Avery, a retired Presbyterian pastor who served many years at Shadow Park Presbyterian Church. He was my youth pastor when I was in junior high. All these years later, I still remember Dick Avery teaching us the importance of believing in Jesus and loving each other. I also remember how he made this something that we could see as we saw how much he cared for us and his example of Christian faith. Almost every day of my life, I go back to these two basics of the Christian faith found in this verse. Believe in Jesus and love one another. This message has been the guide and compass in my life and in my ministry. This message tells us what God wants for us and how God desires us to live our lives. Preachers are people of words. We are supposed to be able to explain truths about God and about how we are to live our lives in relationship to God. We try really hard to do this but preachers know that words are inadequate tools to explain God. God is greater than what human language can put into words. A sermon or an explanation about God and the Christian life might provide a small gem of truth, but God's greatness is like a vast collection of gems. At best, a given sermon or explanation about God is only a tiny gem, and that gem has a flaw in it, no matter how well prepared or well delivered. This can lead a preacher to despair. This can lead any Christian to despair. How will I understand God or explain God, and how can I know how to live my life? I have felt the despair of these questions at times, and then I return to the map and compass of 1 
John 3.23. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. What really counts in life is to believe in Jesus and love one another. This message is the tool that helps me find my way, the way to God, and the way to live the life that is the fullest. 1 John 3.23 is a basic message. This is God's commandment, that we should believe in the name of God's Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he commanded us. This message tells us to keep our eyes on Jesus. Trust the one who is from God, the one who fulfills God's promises. John describes Jesus as God's Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus as God's Son means that Jesus is the one who comes from God. Jesus as the Christ, meaning the Messiah, means that Jesus is the one who fulfills God's promises. There is no better person to look to than the one sent from God, who is the fulfillment of God's promises. Jesus brings salvation, forgiveness, mercy, new life, and eternal love, all without having to earn it, but only to receive it. His life, death, resurrection, and eventual return give us the fullness of God's gifts for us. Our only hope is in Jesus, so we trust in Jesus to fulfill God's promises for us. And what did Jesus do? Jesus loved everyone he met. He loves everyone today, too. The way of Jesus is the way of love. If loving others is the way of Jesus, then loving others is the way for us, those who believe in Jesus, who trust in Jesus, who follow Jesus. We are commanded to love one another. This is the way of Jesus. Where do I go when I don't know where to go in life? What do I do when I feel lost? I go to the message of 1 John 3.23. Believe in Jesus and love one another. I know this statement doesn't explain with specificity what it means to believe in Jesus, and it doesn't tell me how to love others. But unpacking all this message means in our lives takes a lifetime. Actually, it probably takes eternity to unpack all this means. Maybe that is what heaven is for. What this statement, believe in Jesus and love one another, does for us is to center our lives. Maybe you have a special place in your mind or a special place in reality where you go when you want to center your spirit and find peace. I have a special place like this that I picture in my mind. It is a place I rode my bike to when I was a boy. When I think about this place, I remember the goodness of life and the strength and peace I can have in life. I also have a real place in Spokane where I go for a walk when I want to feel centered in my life, sens sensing the strength and peace God wants for me to have. It is also a place I go when I really need to talk to God or just be with God. 1 John 3.23 is the place in the Bible that centers me in my daily life and ministry. It brings me out of the chaos and confusion of life and back to the center of God's purpose. It is the tool that helps me Find the way again. Believe in Jesus and love one another. This is the way, even when I'm not sure of the way 
or of the destination. Throughout my 40 years of pastoral ministry, God has given me a tangible reminder of this message. It is this small book of the New Testament and the Psalms. I bought this uh, in a Bible bookstore 40 years ago when I was first a pastor. I needed a small Bible to take with me when I went on communion visits in homes, nursing homes, and hospitals. It has gone with me on almost every home communion for 40 years. It has been a faithful companion. The cover shows a picture of Jesus as the Good Shepherd and welcoming children. These are images that mean a lot to me. This book holds the message from God. And what is that message? It is found in 1 John 3, 23. This is God's commandment that we should believe in the name of God's Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another. This is what Jesus taught. This is what God teaches us today. As I come to my retirement, I want to thank God and thank you for the opportunity to have served in this congregation. You, the people of Hamlin Park Presbyterian Church, have been a blessing to me and my family. Words cannot express how much you have blessed us. You are such good encouragers, lifting me and others up when we feel down. You support your staff very well and give feedback and constructive criticism in such positive ways and helpful ways. And you do something that is especially important. You look to Jesus, trust in Jesus, and you live for Jesus. This shows in how you love one another. You know that believing in Jesus and loving one another is challenging work, but you also know this is the way to the fullest life possible the life God wants to give us. I trust you will hold fast to this message, and I hope you will return to it often, like every day of your life. All of us will feel lost at times. We may even get to the point where we think the map is wrong and the compass points the wrong way. But my prayer for all of us is that God's Holy Spirit will help us trust this map and compass that God has given us. That every day we will do our best to believe in Jesus and love one another. Please bow with me in prayer. Loving God, I pray for Hamlin Park Presbyterian Church. You have blessed this church in the past and will bless it in the future. Help this congregation to look to you and the guidance of the Holy Spirit every single day. Help all of us to believe in Jesus and love one another. Amen.